Hi, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign. Thanks so much for joining in. And today I thought I would do a specific reading for the Mercury retrograde. Okay, so where you are right now is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is about feeling overburdened and too many obligations and that you're doing more than your fair share of the work or of things that need to be done. It's being super uber responsible. You can see he's struggling, walking up, carrying all of these wands, holding them. He's got his head. He can't even see through them. And it's that dogged pursuit of, of taking care of all of these matters. And so where you are right now is that you're feeling um, perhaps overwhelmed with a lot of things on your plate and that during this retrograde, it would be nice to find a way to have other people do their fair share instead of you having to do it all. And so let's see what we can um, uncover here with this. But uh, uh, this is a card of, of a lot of work and you're probably very tired and exhausted and this takes um, a lot of energy to be the one in charge and of moving this, all of this matter forward. What's coming in with the retrograde, uh, the energy coming in is enthusiasm and a lot of confidence. And this Queen of Wands, I always get a kick out of this illustration with her legs spread. You know, it's very representative of sexual energy, of extreme confidence. And she's a very caring and loving energy that you're coming in and someone who is wise with running a home and someone who is wise in perhaps running a business. And with the wands, there's a lot of um, enthusiasm and a lot of creativity and a lot of passion for what they do. And so she she has a lot of skill sets and a lot of uh, talents that can help you navigate through this retrograde. The obstacles and the uh, challenges and the hidden influences of this retrograde. The Four of Pentacles, you're going to have concerns about finances, about perhaps career stability. And this is a card about holding on to what you have. And uh, you either feel, you feel pretty secure and that you're either in a position of having a lot and you're keeping your eye on it and keeping your eye on your finances and you're probably checking statements and balancing your checkbook. Or it could mean that you are having to be very careful with what you have because there's perhaps a lack and that you need to um, mindfully watch it to make it stretch or to make it last longer. But that focus and these obstacles and challenges will will come towards your financial decisions and your job, anything with these basic stability uh, life issues. And in a retrograde, uh, you know, don't make any rash decisions with money. If you can defer till after the retrograde, that's probably a good thing to do. Um, if you are watching what you spend, just be careful that of how you're spending it and just be on top of it. And uh, perhaps again, just simply deferring any major purchases at this time would be a good idea. And with contracts or agreements or things related to business, if you have to sign something, make sure that you really carefully read the fine print and that you're really understanding what you're signing because uh, that can come back to bite you. And it's just a, a period, your, uh, if the, your obstacles are about money and your job or agreements, um, it's up to you to be, if, have your eye on the prize and to be, to be on top of, like he is, of what his situation is. And so if you are struggling, you know, maybe you're going to have to investigate and look for other ways to bring in more funds. If you are, if someone's trying to get you to 
donate or to do something, just be very uh, uh, research. To know, do your research on what you're going to be giving and what you're going to be um, letting go. So very interesting card for uh, obstacles and challenges that the director grade is bringing in. For your environment and your friends and relationships, you have the Two of Cups, which is fabulous because it's a very healthy, happy, uh, spiritually based relationship where you probably finish each other's sentences, where you just have a great time together. And you either have a partner, a love interest that is uh, very protective and loving of you and understands you. And if you're single during this retrograde period, you might be fortunate enough to meet someone and to develop a deeper bond and to have the opportunity to, to um, you know, just bring a lot of joy into your life because that's what uh, deep relationships do. They bring in happiness into our lives. So your environment is of, of love and of opportunities for love. And if you're in love, for deepening that bond. For advice during this retrograde, we have the fool. And the fool is about new beginnings. And um, be careful with the new cycle that's coming. And if you're starting a new cycle... During this time period, just be, uh, be, don't be reckless. I think that's just what I'm trying to say is that he's, he's a step away from falling off the cliff and he's happy looking forward to, he has all that he needs. And so, uh, you also have all that you need, um, Pisces to start a new journey and to have a new beginning. Just don't be so carefree that you slip right off the cliff or that you make a foolish decision during this period. And the advice is don't be a fool during this decision, during this cycle. You know, don't be played the fool. Don't let someone play you. Don't rush, you know, and if you're going to make a, a new change, be, be wise and in the outcome results position, we have the Four of Cups, which is a, a sense of dissatisfaction or of being self-absorbed, thinking about yourself a little bit and missing opportunities that are being handed to you, like the cup right here that he, he doesn't even see it. So it's telling you to be aware of things that are going on during this time frame. And, you know, Pisces people are very responsive and um, they're unselfish. And there's also a sense of psychic ability with them. So work on your mindset to receive and to be open during this period. Otherwise, you're going to miss some opportunities. Otherwise, you're going to be, people think you're just off doing your own thing. And so, you know, you have loving friends. It's something to celebrate. Opportunities for relationships, wonderful, deep, uh, beautiful relationships. You have in the in your heart of your, at the matter, you are feeling burdened. But you do have some good sense and energy coming in um, from the retrograde with the Queen of Wands. And your challenges are going to be about money and agreements and uh, things relating to the nuts and bolts of life. So be careful in how you proceed. And make sure that if you're signing anything that you've really read carefully so that it doesn't come back to bite you. Don't be the fool. <laughs> don't let someone treat you like a fool and don't let someone play you as a fool. Uh, if you're going to have new beginnings, just be, um, be careful where you step. And then the self contemplation, you know, I don't get a sense that things you're feeling burdened and maybe this needs to change here of the outcome is, you know, it's kind of ties back to feeling burdened here of, of, 
disenfranchised, disillusioned. But I do feel that there's uh, potential for carefreeness and some fun um, within this. So let's pull a oracle card to get a sense of spiritual or focus for the period for the retrograde cycle. Okay, that one. Participation. So participate, get out there and have some fun. Um, enjoy yourself. Uh, there's no reason to stay in and to hide during a retrograde. Get out there and make the best of it and pull your, pull your close ones with you and have some fun. And then let's see, in addition to this love that we see here and, and happiness, let's see what else we can learn about love. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yay. <laughs> it speaks for itself. So look for that. Um, the real issue that you'll have to decide is, do you want to get engaged during your retrograde or do you want to wait until afterwards? So that will be up to you. And then let's take a look at health and see what advice that we can gather from, you know, to help us with good health and, and gaining good health. This came up for another sign. Ask your body for a message. Listen to your body. Listen to uh, and feel if you're too tired, get more sleep. If you need a massage and if you're feeling stiff and uptight, go get a massage. Um, your body gives you all types of little signals. If you're feeling dehydrated, drink more water. So um, your body is really uh, quite informative when you just sit down and take a... Uh, a good listen to what's going on with the aches and pains and the little creaks and things that happen. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please like and leave a comment. I would love to chat with you uh, about your thoughts. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe.